contact here. So don't copy me too much because I'm sort of describing how I wouldn't play actually right now. Um, but if I was playing bluegrass, yeah, and it, it would be, you know, if I would... And you can even see, look at my hand. See how it's going? It's small motion and it's going up and down and it's just, it's going alternate no matter what happens. But when I'm playing this style, my wrist is farther popped out. So the, the way I would describe to it is, take your arm and, and hold it out to here and let the wrist completely relax. So now gravity, yep, and now bring that unit without changing your wrist position down to the guitar. And now you have this thing, they call it the little hammer. And it's like, it's like they say it's a rock on the end of a string. And so in some ways the attack is very aggressive and I am always attacking down and in so if you look, if I, if I strike the G string, I'm lifting up and out. So it's not up just this way, it's up and out. And I'm going down and in. I'm trying to like get through the string to the wood. Like that's where I'm aiming. So that every time I play a downstroke, this is why it's called a rest stroke technique. Every time I play a downstroke, it's coming through this G string to rest on the B string. And so I'm only, the only effort I'm using over here is on the lift everything else is drop. And the reason I can do that, the reason I don't need to use any muscles to stop myself is because I'm gonna hit that B string and I'm gonna come to rest on it. So if you watch me play lead lines, you'll see a lot of downstrokes and you'll see this really aggressive, like it's almost as if I'm trying to play hammer dulcimer and this is the hammer, right? It's that kind of action. It's a percussive thing. So I'm lifting and I'm dropping with my entire hand. Now, for you people who've never played guitar, this will actually be easier for you to learn. For my already guitar players, this is harder to learn because there's already this thing that you do when you play guitar and it's probably not that, or it is that, or whatever, you know? But the point is, is it's a different thing and it will feel because the whole name of the game, the only reason I can do this without having carpal tunnel syndrome is that it's all very relaxed. And so I'm getting all my sound and all, I'm generating the volume. Because as you can tell, it's a very, you know, if I was playing, if I was playing, you know, regular guitar, like the way electric guitar players does, wrist braced against the bridge, you know. Uh, it's smaller sound, but if I'm playing this, So this was a style of guitar and it's a style of picking that's pre-amplification. So actually, welcome to my class. This uh, You're in pre-amplification plectrum technique 101. <laughs> <laughs>